In this video, we'll look at spot fire marking. The concept of marking in spot fire is very common. And it's basically, and that action is selecting data within a visualization. Every visible element in a visualization can be marked. There are two aspects of marking to understand. There's a visual effect or a behavior effect. And if you mark, you should be able to unmark, and you certainly can. You can unmark by choosing the edit menu and selecting marked rows and unmark, or by pressing the control E hotkey combination. Now for marking elements, as I said, there are two distinct visual effects for marking. Marked items can use a separate color, or you can specify that unmarked items are faded out. And this is the default option for the current version of Spotfire, and in fact, for versions above 5.5. To mark an item, you simply click on it, and you can click on multiple items to select multiple items, or you can use the lasso technique, which is clicking the left mouse, holding it down, and visually grabbing a number of different elements. And I'll show you a demo of that in a moment. You can also create as many markings as necessary for your analysis. And you can use separate colors by checking the checkbox in the appearance properties of your visualization. To change marked colors, you simply have to go to the document properties, and that's selected from the edit menu. Then you click on the markings tab, and then you choose the desired marking and click edit. Make your changes, and then choose OK when you're done. You can switch between markings if you have multiple markings. And labels can also be added to marked items using the chart's label properties. You can also place filters in marked items. And there are two options here. First, in order to set filters in marked items, you right-click the marked item, select Marked Rows from the context menu, and either select Filter 2 or Filter Out. In Filter 2, you ensure that the items that have been marked are the ones that you need to filter. Select the marked rows and choose marked rows filter two. And the effect is that only the marked items will remain visible. The other items are filtered out. Now filter out is just the opposite. So ensure that the items are marked that you want to filter out. Then right click on the visualization and choose Marked Rows Filter Out. You'll also find in the Columns panel that a new column appears for each Filter To or Filter Out item, and they have two values, a yes or no. So let's go have a look at marking in Spotfire. Okay, so here I've got an employee sales analysis document and I've got three charts. I've got a table here. I've got a horizontal bar chart here that has the salesperson plotted against the sum of sales and we also have the years in different colors and in the last chart here, the bottom chart, it's another bar chart, and we've got the average sales plotted against the salesperson along with a pseudo heat map of that person's average salary. Okay, so now what I've done is I have gone into the properties for these visualizations. If you have a look here, we'll go into the properties. And first off, we go to data, and you can see that we've got marking here. And you'll find both of these bottom charts are similar this way. Now, if you go to labels here, you can see that I've got show labels for marked rows as well. And what I'll do is I'll close this, and I'll actually go up here to this table. We'll look at its properties. And in the properties here, in data, you'll see here in marking, I have none. But under limit data using markings, I've selected that for marking. Okay, so now let's go and mark some items. First, let's just take one item. So you can see I'll take this one, and here's the label. And you can see that all the other values are faded out. But you'll see here in the table that we have some values because we've marked those values. So let's go mark another value. 
So I'm holding down the shift key and I select another one. Alternatively, what I can do is I can click the mouse, the left mouse button, and drag a region and select that entire region. And you can see the labels for each one. Now, for filters, I can right click and select marked rows, and I can select filter two. So filter to these ones. So these are the only ones that show up now. Okay, and you can see that that filter shows up under columns here. And again, if I click on the funnel for filter, I'll see that it's filtered. Okay, so now if I right click, first I'll select something to filter it. Then I will select marked rows and filter out. And what this will do is it will filter out those values that were selected. So everything else remains. And you'll see that it wound up over here as well in our columns panel. Okay, so in this video, we looked at spot fire marking.